How do narcissists react when you stop reacting to the narcissist games? What happens when you stop playing along? When you recognise their gaslighting, their manipulation, when you recognise what they are doing to you and take action to disarm them, to defend yourself in the right way. What can narcissistic people do? The best thing you can ever do when dealing with a narcissist is go no contact. However, this isn't always possible. Therefore, we choose limited contact and no reaction. Many narcissists get bored easily and move on to another source of supply. Before they do, most will up the games they play to get that reaction out of you, to gain the attention they desperately seek. When going limited contact and no reaction, your safety always comes first. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. So in this video, here are a few things narcissists might do when you stop playing their games. Things narcissists hate you doing before and after the relationship, often getting them to up their games to get the attention from you, that reaction from you, to hurt you because they feel control slipping away. No one throws a bigger tantrum than a narcissist who's losing control of someone else's mind. Number one, when you start to create boundaries, when you start saying no to them. A narcissistic person believes they're always right, that they are above all others. They think they're entitled. They love taking down other people's boundaries one by one. This doesn't mean don't say no to them. It means say your no, mean your no, expect the unexpected as they up their games to break down your boundaries do not react to them. They do not want your reasons. They do not wish to hear your explanations. They do not want to compromise. They want control. They want to use your reasons and your explanations against you to gain control over you. They want to provoke your response so they can twist the story and blame everything on your reactions. Narcissists want your attention and to win at all costs to you. They will use all your weaknesses against you so be prepared stick to your no, do not respond and do not react. You could also find different ways to say no so it's not a direct no or a no that makes the narcissist think that it was their idea. Two, when you see through them and no longer play any of their games. Once we do have a greater awareness and understanding of who they indeed are and the games they play, why they do the things they do, and stop reacting towards those different games, they feel powerless and weak, resulting again in narcissistic injury and most narcissistic people upping their games. The narcissist pride and ego are damaged when we are no longer listening to their lies. This is one of those moments when they'll tell you that you're crazy as they try their endless gaslighting tactics to get you to doubt your reality. And when nothing's working for the narcissist, by us no longer playing their games, it harms their ego ego, their self-importance, their entitlement and they want to do all they can to regain control over us. Three, when you start doing all the things that make you happy and becoming yourself again. Most narcissists want to be in control of your every move. Most narcissists want you to do what they want you to do and not what you would like to do. Most narcissistic parents hate it when they lose control over their children. As you grow and distance yourself having a life of your own, they'll often pity play or try making you feel guilty for being yourself. 
A narcissistic ex-partner doesn't want to see others happy or doing better than them. They feel great envy and jealousy and they might up their games by all the pity plays of after all I've done for you. Fake an illness, invalidate you, create an argument just as you're about to do the things you love to do, sabotage you, ignore you, fall silent on you, narcissistic Parents will gloat about your siblings. Narcissistic exes might try to show off their new partner to you. They might start letting the children down using the most precious things you care about against you. Playing mind games with their own children. Trying to ruin your career. Trying to hoover you so that they can destroy you all over again. Try to ruin your plans any way they can threaten you, smear your name. A narcissistic person simply believes they should be the centre of attention. They do not care for positive or negative. They prefer positive. However, when they feel attention slipping away, they hold a grudge and they go all out to bring you down. They just want you to think about them, whoever the narcissist is in your life. This is why you shouldn't let them know anything about yourself, blocking their flying monkeys and enablers. If it regards children, go grey rock, simple facts to the point on a need to know basis. They resent others' happiness because they are unhappy within themselves. For when you no longer feel fear or guilt towards them, narcissists tend to rule through love, the conditional love when they love bomb and idolize to confuse you, or they guilt trip you, or they rule through fear. Narcissists want to be in control at all costs. They want you to feel ashamed, afraid to speak out, full of fear, afraid to speak up or go against them. They want you to feel guilty, so you give in and do exactly what they want you to do. Narcissistic parents, friends, work colleagues and partners can use these tactics to make you conform to their demands. Narcissists might threaten you by saying they'll tell others your secrets, your deepest insecurities, your fears, your mistakes. Some are dangerous so stay safe, others are not and full of empty threats. Or narcissistic people can guilt trip you with pity plays from faking illnesses to saying you're hurting someone you love by not giving in to the narcissist demands. So long as your intentions are good, there's no wrong way or right way to live your life. Listen to yourself and your instincts and not the self-doubt. Their toxic words are trying to feed you. Own your mistakes, own your insecurities, own your secrets so that others can no longer use them against you. Five, when you put the blame back onto who it belongs, when you pass responsibility back to the rightful owner. Narcissists aren't going to be responsible for their own behaviour. They're not going to be held accountable for their own behaviour. They're going to pass the blame to remove any feelings of shame. And when you don't take the blame for their behaviour, they feel their game's slipping away. A narcissist can be quite delusional at times. They can even delude themselves. They don't feel the guilt or the remorse, not on the same level that we do. They might feel the shame or they might fear consequences and to remove that shame, they blame others. Projecting, blame shifting and gaslighting all their insecurities, wrongdoings and problems onto others. They cannot handle it when you do not take the blame. Be prepared for them to come at you with, you're crazy, you're insecure, you're too sensitive, you're making life too difficult. Then all those, if you hadn't, I wouldn't, do not react. They're not looking to sort any issues out. They're not looking to take the fall for their behaviour. They're looking to find fault within you which create those cracks within the relationship which they're looking to cement over by blaming you they don't change their behavior because they don't learn from their behavior narcissists are looking to put all the responsibility 
over to you or over to someone else. So they are not held accountable and don't feel the shame. When they are smearing you to others and you rise above not reacting, they hate it as it's destroying the illusion they're trying to pass on to others about you. Many narcissists will up their games to try and get you to react so they can say, see, I told you they were and however you've reacted. When you stop playing, it damages their false narrative that they're telling people about you. Six, when you move on with your life, reconnect with old friends and family, find your confidence, your inner love, your sense of self and your happiness. This is why it's best that a narcissist knows as little about you as possible, as if they believe you're doing well without them, most will turn up for the hoover, as they think they can use you all over again to meet a need of their own. Narcissists are incredibly exploitative people. Narcissistic people can also isolate you by triangulation, manipulation and gaslighting. They want you alone, so you only have them for those reality checks. Then when they are bored, they can swoop back in whenever they want to rescue you, to destroy you all over again. This is why it's best if you don't want the hoover, they know nothing about you. If it's friends or family, the less they know, the better. The less they belittle you and try to plant those seeds of self-doubt within your mind. Remember to look inwards to yourself and your intentions, your instincts, your reason why. Narcissists want to be in control of all of us using any manipulation method they can. They are very envious of others. So if they see you doing well, they either want you back or they want to destroy you. When you leave and never go back, this is the one where most narcissistic people will try to destroy you any way they possibly can and they feel great criticism that you've left them. They want and need power and control as they believe they are above others. They want to be able to use others whenever it suits a need of theirs. To a narcissist, people are an appliance where we buy a mobile phone and they get to know all about how it works and then if we damage it, cracking the screen, and we might either get it fixed or buy a new one and discard the old one. If the new one breaks, we might see if we can make do with the old one until the new one is fixed or we can purchase another one. If we lose our phones, most of us are annoyed with ourselves and this is how narcissistic people use people. They want all others to de be dependent on them and they want people to believe that they are nothing without the narcissist. It breaks a narcissist's illusion of power and control when others simply walk away. Again, don't let them know anything about you. If they think you have something to offer, something they can use, they will either try to win you back or destroy it. Some narcissistic people are lazy and they will leave you alone a lot sooner than others. Some give up their games far faster. Some might fear that you could expose them, therefore they will leave you alone. Some will up their games. Continue working on yourself, making your life great, leaving the past behind and having a much more positive, happy life for you. When it comes to exposing a narcissist's games, the image they're trying to sell to people, you can't expose that. They they want people to know that image is who they are behind closed doors that they don't want other people to see within them and if they fear that you might expose that to others many narcissists will leave you alone when it comes to you no longer reacting to a narcissist most of them will up their games you have to kind of ride out the storm to get to the other side while keeping yourself safe. As soon as you stand up to a narcissist, you often think it's bad at the time. But as soon as you start to stand up to one, all hell seems to break loose because they are used to getting their own way. They can be very resourceful in their manipulation to get what they want from other people. 
stick to no reaction. Many times people do slip up. They know exactly what buttons to push, exactly what emotions to provoke within you to get that reaction from you. Once they've got that reaction, they will go again. And all you have to do is go again, start again with no contact, limited contact, grey rock and keep practising until you get it. It can be very challenging, it's very difficult while you live it. But life does get easier once you go no contact or once you get limited contact and grey rock. Remember, it is who they are as a person. What they say about you, what they do to you, says everything about who they are as a person and nothing about who you are as a person. If anyone has any thoughts on the video, please do add those into the comments. I shall add into the video description, will calling a narcissist out on their behaviours change their behaviours and the two sides to a narcissist after you go no contact or limited contact. Thank you very much for listening. Go out there and create the day that you deserve so that you can start creating the life that you deserve. Thank you for listening. Bye.